In this lesson video, I want to make some more modifications to the Guitar Tuner app that we've been working with. And I'm going to go ahead and create tabs on my application for navigation. Now there is more than one way to create tabs for your application, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one way to do that. If I switch back over here to my code, let's go over to the activity main.xml file. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this hello world text that you find on my application. And I'll go ahead and maximize this. If I go over here to my palette and I click on the composite category, I'm going to find the tab host, which you can see consists of different tabs. Let's go ahead and drag that over and drop that on my application. You can see that I now have three different tabs to work with. So three tabs are the default. Let's go ahead and switch over to the XML code and take a look at what we have. I have a tab host, then a linear layout, a tab widget, and then a frame layout. And within the frame layout, I have three different linear layouts. This is for tab 1, tab 2, and then also tab 3. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this code by changing the ID of my tab host. You can see it says Android ID tab host. I'm going to go ahead and make a slight change into this by deleting this and then making it say at plus ID forward slash tab host. Now let's go down to the three linear layouts that I have down here on my frame layout. I can use the linear layouts if I wanted to for my application. However, I've decided that I want to use the relative layouts rather than linear layouts. I could even mix and match if I wanted to. But what I'll do is just simply take out the linear layout and make it say relative layout and then go ahead and highlight that and copy it and then for the closing tag I need to close out the relative layout so I'll go ahead and paste in the relative layout tag there and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight this linear layout paste in the word relative layout and this one and paste in relative layout and if I hover over 46 just to see what the errors are that the linear layouts are causing, you can see that I have no orientation. So if I wanted to actually use the linear layouts, I would need to add the Android colon orientation attribute to designate between horizontal and vertical. I'm going to go ahead and finish this last linear layout with relative and do control S to save it. And as the relative layouts do not need an orientation, I've removed all of the errors for this XML file. Let's go ahead and switch over now to the main activity.java file. And in the onCreate method that you see up here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and add in our tab host from the activity main file. So I'll just go ahead and create a new object, tab host, tab host equals, and then we're going to go ahead and in parentheses type in tab host again, and then find view by ID, open the parenthesis, and we're going to look for r dot id dot, and I just got done naming that tab host. We'll end the statement with a semicolon, and I need to import the tab host itself. So let's go to import tab host. And the next line of code that I need to write in here is to tell the Android system to set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and type in tab host dot set up and I can go ahead and double click that and end it with a semicolon and I'm going to need to space down a little bit more and we're going to go ahead and configure each one of those tabs on our activity so what I need to set up now is called a tab spec tab spec and we'll just go ahead and call this first one spec1 equals tab host dot new tab spec and you can see right there I've got this and then inside of here I'm gonna go ahead and tag this with just tab 1 in double quotes and end it with a semicolon so the tab host we just set up I'm gonna go ahead now and configure a tab spec which will be used for the first tab I need to hover over tab spec and import it there we go now let's go ahead and hit enter and now that I've got spec 1 created let's go ahead and say spec 1 
dot. I'm going to go ahead and set the content. Set content. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to r dot id dot. And if you remember, the first tab was just called tab one. I'll select tab one and go ahead and hit the semicolon and then hit enter. And now my next line of code, let's go ahead and set the text that's on the tab itself by doing spec one dot set indicator. And then inside of there, I'm going to go ahead and call this one acoustic. And then I'll end that with a semicolon and hit enter. And the last thing that I need to do now is add the spec one to our tab host. So the last line of code that I need to enter in here is, is tab host, which is our object right here, dot add tab, and then the tab spec that it's asking for, we just created called spec one. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. All right, so our first tab is now set up. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code and then paste it down here. And I'm going to paste it one more time because we've got three tabs to work with. Let's go ahead and change some of the numbers we have in here. This one I'm going to go ahead and call spec2. And I'll call this one tab2. And we need to change it here on the next line. Spec2. Set content r.id. This is going to be tab2. And then I'll come down to the next line. Spec2. Set indicator instead of acoustic. Let's do electric. And then the last line of the code, tab host dot add tab. Let's go ahead and add spec two. And now let's go down to the third option, tab spec, spec one. Let's make that spec three. Call that tab three. Over here I'll say spec three dot set content r dot id tab three. Next line of code, spec3 dot, in, dot set indicator. And we'll go ahead and call this one base. And then the last line, tab host dot add tab spec3. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and run our application to see what we have. And now as my application loads, I can see acoustic, electric, and bass. Now the acoustic is wrapping here. I may have to change the size of that. So I'll switch back over here to the activity main.xml. And I'll scroll here to the top. And I can see I have some padding on here that I could remove from the application. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll remove the padding from the bottom, left, right, and top. And I'll just go ahead and delete that and I'll rerun my application. Save my changes. Okay, and that removed all of the padding that I had on the left and right to make it so that I had enough room to spell out acoustic, electric, and bass for this small 3.7 inch screen. In the next few lessons we're going to continue to develop our application for the acoustic guitar and provide tuner sounds to be able to tune the guitar to the notes that we're playing on this application.